Welcome everybody to the BMW Junior Gold Cup. We've got a special treat for our viewers at home on Bar TV Sports. We've got a, a Wednesday night game and it's going to be the Rebels down from Victoria or up from Victoria taking on Western Province who were very, very good the other day. It'll be Western Province uh, taking the kick here. And it's game on here at TG Milner. Oh, the ball just trapped in the feet there of the Rebels player. And the Rebels... They've had a, had a hard trip. They've got a couple of changes from their Friday night match out at Campbelltown as they get the ball downfield. So what can the Eagles side do? They were impressive the other day against uh, the Metro East Rays. And this is a good start for the Eagles here. Ah, now. Ball out. Big Abra. Abra coming through on it. He was probably the best on the field the other day. Abra. Oh, he loses the ball. So good steal there for this Rebels side. Of course, affiliated with the Melbourne Rebels. And all the Super Rugby action back on your TVs at the moment. These young guys looking to emulate their stars. As the ball comes out now, it's a long ball out wide. This looks very interesting here. Enterprising stuff by this Rebels. It's the under-17s BMW Junior Gold Cup. Of course, the pathway to gold here for all the players out there on the field at TG Milner. And it is looking a treat here today. So picking and driving now. They're still going. They go short side. They're a big side, this Rebels outfit. The ball comes back now. They'll choose to use it. Oh, stepping... Off his left foot there. This is going to be a penalty. First penalty of the match. Let's see where they can get down. It's Genoa with the ball. He's got the number 10 on, but you might see him shift a little bit wider in this match. Making way for a couple of players to get a run. Of course, this side has been down here all weekend. Ball comes out now. Flat ball. As they will pick and drive, but the referee unhappy. With this country eagle side, I think Abra just creeping forward there. So it's a good penalty. And they're going to probably go for touch there. Janua has the ball. And that's a nice touch finder there. And they'll be in a very good position now to attack. As Brendan Bell picking up the ball. The hooker here for the Rebels. They slowly come to the line out. Get up. They come through, it's going to be a knock-on though, and there's Abra with it. Now the Eagles looking to spread the ball early on. Oh, the ball over the top, it's going to find touch. And young Will Morley just unable to get a hand to that, so a bit of a let off there. They would look pretty dangerous coming down that flank the other day, this Eagles side. So we see now the the Eagles side, they've got a fairly flat defensive structure. Manning up, marking up. Their scrum the other day was very impressive, quite impressive. In fact, winning a couple of tight heads themselves. Ronaldo Jackson, the big number 19 number eight there locking the back of the scrum and well, this is a good effort by the rebel side they may have jumped a little bit too early though so 
to Arnau. You can see him on screen. He's a chirpy little halfback for this Eagles side. He's pointing his troops around. Hunter Ward, the captain. In the number eight jersey. Oh, good scrum by this Rebel side. The ball now coming out. Long ball. What can they do here? They get around one. Oh, the Rebels, they're winding up to it. was finding half a gap. They go short side. They come around. And the ball goes loose. So just taking their time there to come around the corner. They need to be a bit more committed. But the referee is going to call a penalty. And he's going to have a quick chat early on just to assert some authority out here. So Hunter Ward just having a bit of a chat. The referee just asserting some authority there. We'll see what the Rebel side do here. It is a penalty to them. They're going to take the scrum. So confident in their ability here at the set piece. And they boast a monster pack. with the obvious benefit of course training with the super outfit being affiliated directly with them ball comes to the back Gilly's on the short side oh it's going to be a penalty to the Eagles so the Eagles come back with a, a better scrum there Carberry will take the touch finder playing at fullback today Played at fly half and played a very good game the other day. We saw on Bar TV Sports. Of course, if you want to get involved in the game, at Bar TV Sports on Twitter, hashtag Bar TV Sports and hashtag Gold Cup for all your in-game play. So Sam Laurie getting a ball in. Yeah, the referee's not going to be happy with that. Not straight. They had a few problems the other day as well. It was quite a strong breeze out there at Wakehurst. So Brendan Bell now. Picked up by Arnau. Arnau, his forwards come around him. Good work, good desperation stuff there. As Abra takes them forward again. Nice run by the big red-headed prop. Aiden Kelso picking and driving. And penalty now holding on. He didn't give him much time there, the referee. So now, another penalty to this Rebel side. And you can only think that this Eagles outfit will give soon. Some gaps will appear. And that is about 10 metres out and that's a very good touch finder so Bell will do the honours again and Foran playing in a halfback he's in the 17 jersey he is one of the bigger halfbacks you'll see in this competition and that's good variation Shane there he is there Foran getting a long ball at all just going behind his intended target there but this is a good set piece good work move as the forwards come around the corner they go that way, the ball out wide, and here they come, the Rebels, and that is a good try there. Tilly goes over the line, and they open the scoring. They had penalty on penalty, the pressure built, and Tilly goes in out wide. So the score now 5 0 in favour. Of the Victorian side, the, the Rebels, aligned with the Melbourne Rebels, but the players hailing from all corners of Victoria. And we see that famous backdrop there at this Eastwood ground. Of course, the Eastwood Club doing everything for this Junior Gold Pathways. Hosting a couple of games. Really seeing the benefit in the Pathway to Gold program. 
So that is no conversion. It'll be the Country Eagles looking to hit back here. It'll be a restart. Carberry has the ball. It's a good high restart too. It's flat. And looks like the Eagles may have come up with it. No, it's been called knock on by the referee. He'll play advantage here as they get the ball up the field. Good leg drive and that's a good little box kick there by four and four and catching Carberry unaware. He's going to knock the ball forward there. But the referee is going to bring it all the way back for a penalty. So Carberry, he's a busy player. He's got the ball in hand now. And now the Eagles side have the first chance to attack. Ball coming in. Sam Laurie has it. He'll go to the back. And that's a better line out there. Felix Quinn gets up high. Wrestled to the ground and the Rebels come over it. Ah, now getting the ball out. Long ball. Jackman getting it to Carberry. Carberry's got a bit of space to move. He tries to bump off his opposition player, but he's picked up and driven into the ground. And now they go right. Good interchange of passing there. Bible playing one off him. And now they come back the same way, and that was Felix Quinn. Oh, a little chip over the top. It's going to be close. Nice work. In cover there by the Rebels. Farmer Volley doing his best to come around and sweep. Good enterprising play though by the Eagles and they look to play off their own line, this Rebel side. They've got a bit of space on the outside. Help me! But they do well to adjust there, the Eagles. And they're still going here, the Rebels. Good strength shown in this BMW Junior Gold Cup. So now they'll pick and drive here. They go again. They use that very short train track there, but he's put his foot out. Probably the wrong move in their own 22. So now this eagle side again. The pressure built on the other end. Now they're building the pressure here at TG Milner. Ward gets it off the top. Gray getting the ball behind Carberry. Oh, he's met in a strong tackle. Yule Yule out wide in the 11. As they go now through Joel Thomas. Joel Thomas works the ball forward. May have lost the ball. Knock on, says the referee. Diving over, says the referee now. He saw a little knock on. Then he saw them diving over. Quick tap by Arnau. Arnau getting to Abra. Abra using his hands this time, not taking the ball to the line. And Quinn tackled directly in front of the sticks. About five out. Tapamuhu, he's strong. We saw it the other day. He got the good leg drive going then as well. Arnau inside ball to Abra. And Abra goes without it. Knock on, says the referee. I tell you, if he had held that ball up and passed on the outside, there was a big gap looming. Abra drew everyone inside, and if someone's running off his hip there, ah, uh, now, that was a try under the sticks and a try gone begging. So now Foran has the ball. It's been all Eagles the last five minutes. They're having a bit of trouble there, the Rebels. The open side are just losing their footing. So good chance here for country to pressure this scrum. They're five out. The Rebels set to kick. Oh, good scrum by the Eagles though. Driving them back. Forced to pick it up. And Foran picked up and driven. 
So now the Eagles. Can they use quick hands on the short side? Ah, now takes it himself. A little pick and drive there. The ball knocked back. Still on here. So knock on. It'll be another scrum. The Eagles look very good in the last set piece. The Rebels are going to have to dig in. Call for the extra long studs. So a little bit of a replacement there. Changing in, not happy with that side of the scrum. And still, this is good scrummaging. But he dropped his foot there, says the, he dropped his leg, went to ground, says the referee. It was a line decision, line ball decision. Genua will look to get them out of trouble here. And that's a very good kick up towards halfway. Thought the touch judge there could have given him a couple of more metres. And now the Rebels. What can they do? Can they use this back line to effect? Very highly regarded. Oh, that's not straight, says the referee. It was a wonky looking throw, and the Eagles probably would have come up with it anyway. So now the pressure firmly relieved off this Eagles side. They're in the Rebels' half. Of course, this is the BMW Junior Gold Cup. Brought to you by Bar TV Sports, like Bar TV Sports on Facebook, Twitter, and of course the YouTube channel. And this is a good scrum here by the Rebels side, and it twists and turns. So the Rebels giving each other a big pat on the back. A good comeback from them. The Eagles not quite expecting it. It's a very good front row of Abra, Laurie and Thomas. So they won't be happy with that. So the ball comes in. Oh, picked up on, on the back by Ward. It's a good run by him. Arnau's there to support. As well as Charlie Bible, but it's going to be a turnover here. The Rebels, they just didn't have the support there, Ward. They've got to be alert to that, the Eagles, and they get the ball downfield here, the Rebels. Nice work. The ball hoofed. It's a higher one. And they're coming through on it, but taken nicely. And there's trouble out wide. Genua. Genua with a chip over the top. And he's going to be beaten by the ball. Good inside there. He should have kept the ball in hand. He should have chanced his arm there, but instead he kicked the ball. He had support as well, and that is going to be an Eagles ball. Although, by the looks of things, he may have put a foot out. So Arnau just talking to his fly half grey there. Carberry's back in the pocket to clear. <coughs> Screwing scrum again. Ward picks it up. Bit of confusion there. Carberry is there. The ball hoisted down first. It's a good kick by Carberry, but now this rebel side, good chance to counter. Oh, the ball goes to ground two. He the try scorer now stepping off his right and left. Good palm there as well. Getting the full mitt out. But Ward 
does the job. The captain brings him to ground. Picking and driving there. Leah Tower it is. Leah Tower. They look good when they pick and drive here. The Rebels, they do it again. So Unger looks like he's come on the field. He is the replacement. So Foran getting the ball out. Not the best pick up there. Probably not the intended targeters. Lala Tua. Gets them well over the advantage line. And here they go again. They're going to pick and drive. Very effective at the moment for this Rebel side. They go again. Jackson it was that time. And again they go. Good quick recycling here. As the Rebels now use the ball. Four and gets the ball out wide. Farmer Volley still going. Farmer Volley's picked up. He's put on the ground. Dispatched with. And the kick goes in behind. And here's Carberry well positioned there. Oh, he dances with the touchline. He's put a foot out. He did well to get away there. But just edging on the sideline. He certainly looks at home in both positions. Fly half or fullback Carberry. Another line out. That's a good one off the top. Four and with a wide ball. Oh, good ball away by Toefa. Toefa gets the big arm free. I thought he may have got his centre partner away there. Oh, inside ball. Good ball there. Saanga. He looks dangerous, Saanga. Oh, picked up. Big Oliver Bard and he's still going though. Managed to keep his feet somehow, and they're close. And the ball has spilled forward as they went for quick recycled ball again, the Rebels. And he just lost it at the death. Unfortunate there. And they look very good when they're playing quick ball here, the Rebels. The Eagles are going to have to do something to, to keep up with them, to stay in touch. They need to put more bodies in at the breakdown, maybe. There's a little injury out there, maybe. Looks like it's Connots. He has got his leg, his knee area heavily strapped. So let's hope the young fellow's all right in this BMW Junior Gold Cup. There's probably close to a thousand people here at this ground today. So TG Milner doing great things for the pathway to gold. Home of the Eastwood Club. Always supporting the BMW Junior Gold Pathways. As we see him get to his feet. So it's going to be a scrum with a knock on. The Eagles will feed the ball. There's not long remaining in the first half of action. So the scrum set. Ball fed in. Oh, good scrum here by the Rebels. They're driving them back. And they... Pick it up through Ward. The ball comes to the back for the Eagles. He's been solid at the back of this scrum. All day in the ball coming back. Carberry has it. Carberry getting the ball on the boot. The ball comes in. Long ball. Oh, met well there. Sam Rooney. Reading the play well. Nearly came through there, Billy. The penalty.
can can this Rebel side get some more points on the board before half time they've been the better side in this first half there's the ball now comes in a good variation again by the Rebels they set up now for them all they drive on the ball can they get it toward the line the ball comes down so oh good inside ball just chopped though Billy they chopped him in half so they'll pick and drive again recycling the ball and the referee is going to call a knock on so yet another mistake causes harm to this Rebels cause as they look to penetrate this Eagles line. Keep pushing, Rebels! Keep pushing! <laughs> ah, now. With the ball in hand. The Eagles, they're spread wide. They've got one in the pocket. Sam Gray standing a little bit wider. They're going to have to turn the wheels on here, the Eagles. And this is another good scrum by the Rebels as they twist and they screw it so... This is good ascendancy by the Rebels. They're really driving through in this set piece. That's a better scrum by the Eagles, holding them up this time. Coming through, good pressure on Carberry. Carberry dancing, he's stepping. He does well to get away, but he runs into the big shoulder of Jackson. The ball comes out. That's Joel Thomas. He's worked hard all game. Now the ball comes back to Carberry. Does well to get himself in a position to kick after taking the previous ball forward. And he gets a pretty good clearing kick away as well for his efforts. You can hear the crowd urging this Melbourne side on, the Victorian side. Zarnow, Arnow. He'll take it in. Oh, the ball spills out. Could be a turnover. The referee says play on. Ward, good thinking there by him. You see Abra, Abra goes himself and Abra. Oh, he'll back himself, he gets a ball inside, may have put a foot out. Yes, the referee agrees. The big prop forward getting plenty of congratulations there by his side. So Bell, the Eagles side get up and spoil the ball. Flat ball. They've got a good individual back line, but they just haven't clicked together as a team so far. This time, they prove the difference as Genua's on the wing, looking to step inside. Leotoa. Nice run. Bumping one up there. That's a, this is an aggressive run by Molina, who's now on the field. Another big body for this Rebel side. Penalty there. Coming into half time, you think they might take the shot for goal.
Yeah, that's a nice kick there. So they got in position quickly early for the, the rolling more in a similar position. About 10 minutes ago. Let's see if they go for the same option or try and swing the ball wide. Ball comes in, goes to the back. Not the intended target. The Eagles get over the ball. They come through. May have forced the turnover. Yes, they have. So the short side's play. Here comes Abra. Abra. Wow, Abracadabra. He's in everything, but he loses the ball forward. Second time for the match. And this is going to be close to half time. In fact, it is half time. So the score 5-0 in favour of the Rebels against Western Province playing under the Eagles banner. And we're back with you very shortly for the second half. Well, we're back now, everybody out there, for Bar TV's coverage of the BMW Junior Gold Cup. Played today at TG Milner. Of course, TG Milner doing a great job hosting a number of matches here. It is Western Province, the Eagles, taking on the Victorian side, the Rebels. And the Rebels side, they look on top of it. A bit of execution uh, problems, I guess a bit of handling as well by this Rebels side. If they can put it together now, then... This could be a very big scoreline coming into the second half. That's a high kick, high restart. They come up with it. And Kelso does well. Puts his body on the line. Short ball there to Thomas. Thomas takes the ball. He's had a busy first half. Oh, the dummy's been thrown. Inside ball going to ground. So now the Rebels have it. Barden has it. Barden. Oh, gets the arm around the corner, but he's put his foot out there. Genua. Dancing with the sideline. We've seen him do it a couple of times in the first half as well. The big mitt, though, of Oliver Barden came out. And it was almost a try as the ball... Scuttled along the ground. The Rebels now. Ball coming out. And here he is, big Molino. Molino, the big towering number eight for this Rebel side. Ball's out wide now. Long ball. So the referee... Sees a little indiscretion there. There's going to be another scrum here. I tell you what, these front rowers, they've burnt their keep today. Plenty of scrums, plenty of loose ball. Carberry. We can see him on screen there in the grey headgear. He's set to kick the ball. So both sides a little bit edgy for this first scrum of the second half. The score 5-0, of course, if you want to get involved in the game, hashtag Bar TV Sports, hashtag Gold Cup. Of course, follow all the action of the Gold Cup on Bar TV Sports. Like them on Facebook, YouTube, and of course, Twitter. Are now. Oh, Carberry drops the ball. An uncharacteristic error 
by the young kid in 15. He's solid in everything he does. So it's going to be a feed for the Rebels. Good opportunity now for them to post some more points on the scoreboard. Of course, big thank you to the New South Wales Waratahs as well, supporting this Junior Gold Cup match of the round. And the Western Province side, they're, they're struggling a little bit at the moment. So just taking their time to get set here in the scrum. Referees doing a great job in this Junior Gold Pathways program. Of course, a good pathway for referees as well to get involved in the game. Plenty of opportunities. So this scrum taking a long time to get underway. If it's to be said, the Rebels probably had the ascendancy in the first half. The ball goes to the blind side. Oh, stepping away. It's going to be close. And that is a try for the Victorian side. So Victoria goes in again. The Rebels score another try it's a good one the score now 10-0 with a kick to come so good try there they used the width of the field and they did really well here the Rebels looking the goods at the moment So he takes the kick, and it's a good one. So Genua converting the try. The score now, 12-0 in favour of the Rebels. So Carberry has the ball. Carberry with a high restart again. Pinpoint restart. The Eagles come up with it. Passed off by Abra. What can he do? Now his counterpart there. Thomas picks up the scraps. They're still going. Could be turned over here though. Oh, good work there, Thomas. Coming in and nice run there by Bible. Bible taking a, a tough run, but he's lost the ball, has he? Ward comes up with it, does he know? The Rebels have it now. Ball comes out. Long ball out wide. They're going to look to use the hands, and it's a good defensive line set by the Eagles. Reacting to the mistake. So this is going to be a penalty. Genua has the ball again. And that's a very good touch finder once more. So another line out here for the Rebels. They've been good 
at both areas of the set piece. Scrum end line out, ball comes straight to the back. Long ball out wide. So Tui, he set wide. They'll pick and drive again. Four and it was that time. Flat ball, oh, Tui. He's on the outside, he's got it now, Tui. If he had got the long, long ball to him, he was away, he was clear, but now they're driving forward through Lala Tua. Nice run there by Lala Tua, the centre. Now they'll pick and drive again. It's been working for them all game. They're playing very quick ball here from the back. It looks like it's going to be a turnover. Oh, penalty. And they're going to have a chat here as well. He's not happy with something. Ward, as captain, will go out. And he's given him the yellow card. Put the cheese on your sandwich, son. Because you're going to have a bit of a stint in the bin. So now, a player down. What can this Eagles side come up with? They look out of it at the moment. And again, they'll set up for the mall. Oh, are not controlled there, so the Eagles land on it. They swoop on it. Ball comes back. Kick under pressure's a good one. Over the top, and it's over halfway. Getting them well out of danger is Vili. Now what can he do? Vili stepping, tries to run over his opposing winger there, Yu Yu. Ducks under Arnau's tackle. So again, they pick and drive the Rebels and they drive themselves upfield. Playing loose there, they go across field. It could be a turnover in possession. Yes, it is. So good counter rucking again. Ah, now getting the ball out wide. They look a little bit disjointed here, the Eagles side. Smith takes the ball forward. That's what they need. They need some direct play. Bible on the inside. Penalty to the Eagles side. They're playing a man down, but it's lifted their tempo, it's lifted their spirits. Big kick downfield, Carberry. That is an absolute rocket there. So can the Eagles get something on the board here? It's against the run of play. The Rebels. They've looked the better of the two sides here. They've had a big weekend playing on the Friday. Little trip away in the under-17s Junior Gold Cup. The pathway to gold. And, of course, BMW, the major partner. So taken by Ward. Ward will run himself. Ward. He's the captain. He's inspirational, Ward. Ah, now. Bible has it. Gets a nice little ball to Quinn. Quinn upended. Good tackle. Good defence by the Rebels. Ball spits out. Carberry has it now. Oh, the ball sits up. Davis, Davis. He's standing. He's strong. Davis getting them forward. Still going, Davis. He's held up, though, by the Rebels' defence. Look at the strength shown by them as they drive on the ball here. The Eagles, what can they do? And now, it's going to be a scrum. So the referee blowing his whistle. I thought there was a bit more time in that one, but unbeknownst to me, the referee had blown the whistle, so it's going to be another scrum. 
with the Rebels camped fully on their own line at the moment. What can they do to get out of trouble here? They've done well so far. It's 12-0 on the scoreboard. And you can see there the the Eagles scrum. They've had to readjust and realign. And Big Ward, the captain, putting his hand up and putting his head into the front row. And young Urquhart's on there. The, he's a whippet of a hooker. But he also plays like a second ball player as well. When he's out there, when they've got the ball in hand. Yeah, so it looks like they may have gone uncontested there, the scrums. That's a good kick downfield. Here's Yul Yul. He's quick. He's got a good step on him. Yul Yul with a long ball out wide. Jackman. Jackman runs back towards his forwards. Oh, he's collared. And they go back towards the left. Carberry. Dummies holds the ball up. Gets through. But, yeah, he's gone behind. It's an obstruction called by the referee. And these country boys should know Shepherder for sheep. No, no. And that was what they call in old older days a shepherd. So again, unlucky there. The Eagles creating a bit of space out wide. With the ball now, ready to come in. Oh, good variation again. Oh, they just get the ball in and bat it away. The balk, unfortunate there. Too many variations, too many bodies in motion there. Just confusing themselves a little bit, the Rebel side. It's a tap taken. Ball out, Carberry. Oh, big shot there on Aiden Kelso. Aiden Kelso does well, just bounces off like a pinball at your local milk bar. So maybe called for a shoulder charge here. Didn't look like he wanted to use his arms. He's going to have a little chat here, the referee. And this could see someone from this Rebel side spend some time on the sideline. Yeah, and he's got the yellow card out. So Alala Tua came in with the shoulder, didn't try and use the arms, and that has meant he's now sent from the field as Carberry takes the penalty and gets them way downfield. Don't know if he even found touch, no. So that might be a mistake there, they, they'll rue. So now, another scrum. It's 12-0. A big scrum here, both sides evenly matched now. 14 players apiece, and that's a good tackle there by the breakaway Bible. Busy and everything. Picking and driving again, the Rebels. Here they come. Ball comes to the left. Yule shows a big sideline there on his opposite, and he's taken his opposition there. Lavia, who's just come on the field over the sideline, and nicely done. He looks exciting, Yule. The 
go up to Ward. Oh, the referee's going to say not straight there. So Urquhart unable to get some possession here for this Eagles side. So now the Rebels, they're 22 out. They've got a big open side set. Lavia playing in 14. You can see him there. He might fancy his chances here for a short side play. The two packs come together. It's about the 15th scrum of the match. Oh, it's come in and out the same channel, the same tunnel. So what can they do? The Rebels. While they haven't been impressive, they've been dominant all game. They certainly have it over this Eagle side at the moment. Scrum. They go short side, but they number up well. Still going though. Lavia, Lavia will be tackled out. They're going to have to get this line out right now, the Eagles. My suggestion would be throw the ball up straight to two and just take the ball in. Give Carberry some time to clear the ball down into the opposition half. They go to the back. That's a better one there. Comes back to Carberry. Carberry will put it on the boot. Oh, Lavia almost went with the ball. And it'll be very interesting to see if he can wind up Lavia. He looks quick. They'll go for a quick, quickish line out here. Trying to catch the Rebel side off guard, and they don't. So the Rebels come up with it. Palming, stepping, standing. And then taken in the end, Felix Quinn. Ball and all smothers him. They lose a bit of ground, but they do have the ball here, the Rebels. Picking and driving here. Sanga. So now they'll look for the quick through. Here comes Lavia, Lavia. On Yule. It looks like it's going to be a good battle for the remainder of this match as they take the quick throw in. Oh, and that's a poor error of judgment there. The referees missed the knock on, though. So now... Coming through the centre, through the middle, was Davis. But he's lost the ball now. So the Eagles just not being able to control the ball all match. And this may cost them this match. The handling, but the defence, they're coming back at them, the Eagles here. So now, the Rebels picking and driving here. Again, Saanga. He's big, he's dominant. Still going, picking and driving. It's worked for them all game. And it's still working. And they make meters at will. So now, Genua, he's standing out wide. Can he get a ball? No, the ball goes over the top and Lavia goes without it. And everyone goes without it. And the Eagles again, they scramble well. Wow. They're still hanging in here, the Eagles. There's probably about 10 to go. <coughs> so the ball ready to be fed. <laughs> the Rebels have it, they're 15 out. Good scrum again. Ball comes out, it's wide. Another wide ball. They've got numbers two, he gets a ball away. Stepping, 
Oh, inside ball to Tui Tui. He's close. Is he over? I think he is. No, the Eagles come back. And it's going to be a penalty for holding on. Wow. I thought he got the ball over the line there, Tui. But the referee, to his credit, <laughs> made the big call. So the score remains 12-0, and that is a good touch finder. That time by Carberry, 50 metres on the fly. Gets them up towards half way here at TG Milner. So just taking a, a little bit here for the line out. Ball set. They go at the back. Quinn goes without it. So here come the Rebels again. Rolled over. Is it turnover in possession? Yes, it is. Ball flicks up. to tend to go on the clock and they come through Yule he's chasing he's done well there and they kick almost to the open yes they do so Davis now has the ball using his width Ward passes it on Abra Carberry now here they come here come the Eagles Morley he's still going Morley Morley gets around another and Morley will score he'll better the position puts the big fist up and that's a try well, the Eagles, they've been up against it all this second half. They come away with some points there. They didn't look like they were going to get anywhere near them in this second half. But now they pick the game back with a kick to come. So the kick to come, Carberry comes in, kicks it, and he makes no mistakes. So the Western Province Eagles, they're right back in this match at 12-7. There's about eight minutes remaining in the game. It's a close one. And this is why Bar TV Sports is bringing it to your lounge rooms, to your tablets, to your iPads. Get involved in the game at Bar TV Sports, of course, hashtag Gold Cup. Tag your friends in. All your enemies. Is the ball bouncing? Finding no man's land there. So the Rebels, what have they got? They're up against it now. Ball comes out, flick pass there. So here they come, the Rebels. What can they do? Can they fight back? Can they assert that dominance we've seen throughout this match? They'll pick and drive here again. Yes, they do. Oh, nice little ball away there to Bell. Bell will take them forward, gets about 10 metres on that run. They pick and drive again. Jackson it was, the big number eight. Have they lost the ball? No, they're still going here, the Rebels. They're standing wide. Tui has the ball. Tui with a long ball out, stepping on the inside, the 23. What a try there. Nice work by the Rebels side and they get another try they hit back nicely there's not long to go to that not long to go now sorry 17-7 the score with a kick to come Tui summed it up nicely there got the ball out and it was just a good piece of individual brilliance that Got them over the line in the end. Yeah, 
So shapes to kick. Steps in, they come in, and oh, he shanked that one. He's got a bit of hook on it, bit, bit of overspin, and it lands well over into the far hill. A couple of those ball boys with a bit to do now. As Carberry has the ball. They've got a hit back with two tries here. It's a high kick. Oh, coming through Abra. Abra, here he comes. Abra, that's a good steal there by the big prop forward. Oh, but it's a turnover again. Penalty, says the referee. Well, scrum, he says. I don't know what he said there, but they'll use it here. Carberry, the ball goes to ground. They're using it. They spread it wide. There's not much room on that far side to stay in touch. And they do. Oh, he's picked it up. He's almost gone himself there. Urquhart. Flat ball. Ward can't get it. Carberry has it. Carberry will get through. And Carberry will score. Oh, the referee's called it back. It's a knock on, says the referee. That is devastating for this Eagles side. It would have put them one try behind, and that could be the match there. Ladies and gentlemen. So what can they do? There's not long remaining on the clock. Ball pops out, goes back in. Long ball out wide. He finds a bit of space here. Lavia, Lavia, he's got one to beat. And he doesn't beat him. Good tackle around the bootlaces there. A certain try saved. But it's going to be a penalty. Lavia, he thought he was away. We thought he was away. And the crowd certainly thought he was away. So they'll take the kick here for the sideline. Gets them up towards that 22-yard line. Oh, that's a good kick. That is a great kick there. So now, what can they do? The Rebels, they go up early. Oh, that's a nicely... One ball, they'll drive on them all. They're still going here. Nicely defended by Ward, the country. The Western Province captain. The Eagles captain now. Inside ball. Saanga. Saanga still going. They've got numbers to the right. Tui gets the ball. Stepping on the inside now. Here come this Rebel side. Nice little offload there. As they drive the ball forward. Farmer Volley taking it down. They go short side. He'll drive. He'll get close, but he won't get there. They go again. They're inches away. Will they pick and drive? Referee's calling someone offside. They go forward. Is he over? Yes, he is. And that is another try to this Rebels side and that has got to be the game there. So the score 22-7 with a kick to come. It's been a good day out here at TG Milner. This BMW Junior Gold Cup match. 22-7 is the score. Kick to come. There's not long to go in the match. As he comes in, 
strikes the ball and that's his best effort of the day but unfortunately there doesn't get the kick and that is going to be full time there in the BMW Junior Gold Cup it's the Victorian side the Rebels coming away with it 22 to 7 remember get involved in the game and hashtag Gold Cup we're Bar TV Sports and we'll bring you match of the round Monday night on Monday night next week.